Hi there, this is Kadran Electronics Made Easy. Today, we are going to open this UPS and see what parts we can salvage from this. So, this is not the first time I am opening this UPS up uh, because uh, it got spoiled very uh, long back and few days back I removed this uh, 7 amp power 12 volts battery out of it and I am using this for my solar uh, charging station currently and uh, what actually happened was a uh, few of the MOSFETs inside the UPS burnt out and literally flames started coming out of that and so I had to remove all the MOSFETs from that and throw them away. I tried to repair that but I couldn't uh, achieve very good results. So uh, today uh, I want to get rid of this uh, casing and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and see what all parts I can use them or at least save them to uh, use in my future projects and then later uh, I'll throw the case away. So let's see what are the parts inside. So uh, the battery fits here, this empty space. And uh, first of all, uh, starting from here, you can have see these screws. We have four screws of them. We also have this cable which you can salvage. It's a high tensile cable, high current cable. It, it can handle up to uh, six to ten amps as it rates, uh, and it's about one meter. It's about one meter cable. So I can use this. And there's also this board uh, which I can I can use to make an extension box because already there are four sockets and there's also a fuse so with a few connections here and there I can make a extension box with this so I'm going to service this box here next uh, there are two screws holding this board I'm going to open this so uh, these are the clips which go to the battery uh, these are these cables can handle very high current. I think it's it says here that it can handle up to 600 volts. So uh, and there are also clips, insulated clips. So I can salvage these cables also. So mainly the transformer. There is this uh, very high current transformer. I'll use remove these screws to open the transformer. So I also get two, uh, two inch I think or three inch, uh, two inch I think, two inch screws from this holding this transformer and this is a, uh, it's very heavy I think it might be more than 10 amps transformer, there's nothing rated over this, so, but as you can see this is the secondary winding, it shows here very thick wire. I'll probably try to search in internet about this number maybe uh, and it has four wires these two may be the output wires probably and these four are the input because as you can see these the resistance of the output is secondary yeah. the resistance of the secondary is less so these may be the secondary wires in primary there are four wires maybe uh, so that uh, maybe two wires are used for the input to give to charge the battery and after the battery is fully charged it should again step up the voltage from 12 volts AC to 220 volts AC so then the input is given to these two cables and maybe the output comes from other two or maybe three maybe for the shifting the voltage to maintain the voltage constant so I'll got this transformer next so here the MOSFETs of it 1, 2 and 3 and 4. I removed all of them because all of them got burned. I thought I would replace them with new ones but I couldn't get those uh, model ones. So I can get 4 heat sinks here. These can handle with pretty high temperatures. As you can see they are very thick. <coughs> there are also these 4 relays. Let's see what are they rated at. They are rated at about mm, 250 volts, 12 amps. Sorry, 7 amps 250 volts, 7 amps 250 volts AC, 
12 amps 24 volts DC and 12 amps 125 volts AC these are 12 volts relays that's a pretty good current and these are of uh, pretty high current ratings 7 amps that's good uh, there are 4 of these we can salvage 4 of these relays and as you can see there are resistors these are 1 watt resistors I think or 2 watt resistors these are 2 watt resistors and I think these are wire wound resistors or uh, maybe inductors not sure about what are these because as you can see they are these are lines showing that it's wire wound for sure so these may be inductors or resistors let's check with them and these are I think 3 watt or 4 watt resistor here it's a 2 2.2 ohm this one and this is also a 2.2 ohm resistor there are two 2.2 ohm resistors and these are these transistors I'm not sure what are the numbers after desoldering them I can find out I can find the data sheets and find out about them there are this IC it's a LM358 LM358 I think it's a comparator IC not sure exactly I'll find this out this is buzzer a small buzzer uh, it can hold from 3 volts to 12 volts I think this can be used in my projects this is also one more IC here it's a LM339 this one LM339 I'm not sure about what that can do you can see that in the internet there's this big capacitor in between these heat sinks this one I'm not sure what's the value I can use that in my projects also I salvage this capacitor the small ones all the electrolytic capacitors are salvageable I can use them these high watt resistors they can be used relays buzzer these two ices I'm not sure I'll see in the data sheets and then I can salvage about them salvage them uh, transistors I'm not sure I'll salvage them so these are uh, box capacitors rated at 0.1 microfarad and uh, 280 volts so I can use them to make transformerless power supplies and uh, transformerless battery charging circuits so these are three of them I think three are rated at same rating so I can salvage these three I can salvage these header pins these are pretty useful if I have the cables I think they will be yeah, yeah I have these cables so I can salvage these also next I'm not going to salvage the small resistors I don't need them they are very cheap so I need not salvage them Coming to here, there is a small circuit board. I'll open that and see. So, this push button and two LEDs. I can use this the circuit as it is. Uh, I don't think there's any circuitry here. So, maybe two may be input and two may be output, something like that. So, I'll use this uh, circuit board and the cable. I can remove this cable here. I'm not going to use this, I'll just throw this if I can get it. On the other side of this board there are I think these are SMD components which cannot be salvaged of course they are waste. And yeah that's pretty much it on this board. I think if there are any small components I'll try to salvage them. These diodes uh, I think they can we can remove this and we can use those. Uh, all the one and four double zero seven diodes and that's uh, with the circuit board and yeah this piece so uh, as you can see there are two uh, female header pins here so just by simple wiring I, I should what I do, uh, do is I'll connect this blue wire to this blue wire this brown wire to uh, it goes to the fuse one so I, I want this fuse uh, I'll connect the other end of this fuse this white wire to the brown wire and this earth wire will directly connect to each other so that's that will make this a uh, simple uh, extension box where it will convert one three pin plug into three of them and there's also this fuse which will protect and it's rated at four amps so i'll probably stick with that I i'll keep uh, four amps fuse in that I, I think there's all already a fuse in there and a simple box can make a beautiful extension box from this so i'm going to make an extension box from this and circuit yeah uh, what are all the components i'll salvage i'll use them in uh, my future videos future projects transformer I'm not sure I think the resistance uh, the input will be very less so I'll see uh, I'll measure the resistance and see what I can do with this if it's possible uh, I'll get a very high current transformer so I'll make a 
probably make a battery charger with that but uh, I'll see what I can do uh, if I can make an inverter I'll make an inverter from this in my future videos so that was uh, UPS stay down and so I'll meet you in my next video till then keep recycling bye bye